Namaste, this is Aditya and welcome to Shankar Mark Tech channel. In this video, we are going to understand how you can initialize AEM Git in AEM as cloud service and then how do, how do you create the branching strategies and how to sync uh, your organizational Git with the AEM Git. That's what we are going to understand today. Let's get started. Okay, so first let's understand the various environments. This I have already covered in my previous video that you will have three types of environments. One is the rapid development environment, second one is the development environment and third one is production and stage combined. Okay, so what does that, uh, what does this mean? Okay, so rapid development environment is where your individual developers can push the code directly from their local onto this rapid development environment. Okay, so there is no CI/CD pipeline involved here. That is a rapid development environment. And then you have the development environments. Based on your license, you can have multiple development environments. For example, you can have one development environment for all the developers to merge their code and test. And one development environment you can have for the system integration testing. Another development you can have for performance testing. Like that you can uh, have n number of development environments as long as you have related licenses. Otherwise, you will have just one development environment. Then you will have the production plus stage environment combined together. Okay, which means to say that there is only one CACD pipeline for this. We will understand this later more. Okay, you will have two environments. So, whenever you create an environment, right, just as you are giving the dev here, like this, you can give the uh, production for production, stage for stage. You will get two options here. Then you can give prod and stage accordingly. But uh, there will be only one CACD pipeline uh, for this both. So generally the basic license would be that you will have one rapid development environment, one development environment and one stage and one production. So that's the basic setup. So having assumed that this is our basic setup, we will see how we can manage. Okay, so first thing which we need to know is uh, uh, that uh, uh, whenever you create an, a program inside the uh, cloud manager, you will have the pipeline section like this. And uh, if you don't, if you did not set up any pipeline here, nothing will be shown. Okay. And here you will have manage git button. Okay. So uh, automatically AEM creates uh, the git for you. Okay. So whenever you create a uh, program, uh, you, you automatically it creates a git for you. Okay. So then you can, uh, once you click on that manage git, then you will see this information. You will see the username, password, repository URL, everything. Okay, so using these commands, you this URL and this user ID and password, you can uh, push or pull this code into your local. Okay, so this would be your username and password. Okay, so directly you can work on this Git also. Okay, but generally it doesn't work like that. You will have your own organizational specific Git. Okay, but before understanding this, let's understand different test cycles. Okay, so these are the different testing phases, right? Generally, whatever we have. So, one is the unit testing, which the developer does on his local, right? And then uh, in the development server, if you have just one development server, you can just block the development server for system integration testing because you have only one development server, right? So then, uh, as I told, stage and prod, whatever code is pushed onto the stage, the same code gets pushed onto the prod. There is only one pipeline here. There are no two different pipelines. So uh, you can put the UAT phase here in the stage. Okay, so once the code is pushed into the stage, UAT happens and the same code you approve uh, for it to go into the production. That's when it goes live. Okay, so this is how you can uh, divide your testing phases and the environments. Okay, so but if you have any need that you need to ha have a different environment for performance testing, let's say, then you need to take relevant license. You cannot have it with one development environment, obviously, right? Okay, so then one question is uh, the about the unit testing. 
so ideally there will not be just one developer right there will be multiple developers so one developer if he is working in his local he can do the testing for his own code but you also want uh, to merge all the entire developers code into one development environment and then test it right so for that now if you are blocking the development environment one development environment which you have for system integration testing then what you can use right you can still use the rde for that okay so unit testing on the server uh, to merge all the developers code and to test it uh, you could do it on the rde environment okay so but before understanding this uh, let's uh, see uh, how the branches will be created okay so this is where your organizational git is and he, here your aem git is so why do you need to have the aem git and organizational git different it is because generally uh, in in our cicd pipelines we will have some automated test uh, test scripts running uh, some sonar uh, linting running right and uh, they will validate whether the unit testing has passed or not Uh, right and some security testing automation will happen so all this will be part of our pipeline right so this pipeline runs on our organizational git so that's why uh, generally uh, organization prefer having their code in their organizational git okay but to deploy it on to the environment aem has also its own pipeline which also tests for the unit tests it is a minimum condition that unless you have 50% of the unit code coverage the code will not be pushed onto the server okay so all that you will have to take care so there are certain uh, tests which aem is also running there is some pipeline which aem also is running that is why uh, there is a aem specific uh, git and aem specific pipeline also created okay so now whenever you create the aem git you just have the main branch so now what you need to do is first you need to check out this a uh, main branch from aem directly on to your local okay and then from your local you need to push your code on to your organizational git main branch okay so this is the first step you need to do to initialize the git in your organization so from that main branch you can create the release branch and develop branch right uh, so you can create multiple branches so now from this develop branch uh, developers can create uh, individual feature branch and they can start the development okay so uh, so as i told the develop branch code you can reserve it to go into the rde uh, and as i told there is no cicd pipeline or git branch here it is directly being deployed from the local of the developer onto the rde directly using aao commands okay so we'll see that later how to do it okay the release branch you will have to sync this release branch from your organization to aem okay how to sync that i will explain in this video okay and from that release branch you will create a cicd pipeline for that release branch to get uh, get deployed onto your development environment which is reserved for sit okay so then you will have the main branch so from the main branch you of the organizational git you will sync the code onto the main branch of the aem git and then from the main branch you will deploy it onto the stage environment and once the uit happens in the stage and it is approved you just have to click on a button in the in your cicd pipeline for that code to roll over to production so there is no separate cicd pipeline for production and for rde so there are only the cicd pipelines for development and stage environment basically okay so having understood this uh, let's understand how do you use Uh, your rde as a server as a server to do the unit testing okay so let's say this is your organizational git and you have created the develop branch now from this develop branch each uh, individual developer will create his, uh, his or her own feature branch so now he will check out his feature branch onto this uh, his local he will do the code changes and he will push that code onto this feature branch right so once that code is pushed then he will create a pull request and merge it onto the development environment or development branch okay similarly feature 2 also will be merged feature 3 also will be merged so now this develop branch has the code of all three developers so now what we can do is one of the developer from these developers can check out the develop branch onto his local 
okay and then once he checked out onto his local the develop branch he can run the aao commands directly to deploy it onto the rde server so there will be an basically an understanding between all these uh, developers uh, to push the code basically so uh, once uh, they have all complete there will be release cycles and once they have all agreed to one timeline uh, for example a sprint uh, then the sprint end one developer can push the develop branch onto the rde and that's how they can validate in the rde if everything is working or not so now coming on to the release branch okay so now once you are convinced with your develop branch that everything is working then you want to push this code on to the release branch for the sit to test right so now you create from a pull request from your develop branch to release branch and you will merge it on to the release branch then one developer can check out this release branch from the organizational git and he can use the remote git remote push right so this aem git is the remote okay is this is the remote branch so this developer has to set up this aem git as his remote branch and then he has to push this release branch code onto this release branch code using git remote push command okay for that he will use the developers this developers user id and password okay so this is how he has to push okay the exact commands and all i am not explaining here there is already a documentation covered from adobe i will put out the link there in which they have explained in detail how to do it here i am just telling you the logical flow okay so then uh, if you want to automate this every time if whenever the merge happens in release branch the developer has to push right if it is a manual step instead of that if you want to automate it then what you need to do is you need to create one uh, user id for the devops guy one person from the devops you have to choose and you will have to create a user id for that okay for that you need to go to the uh, adobe admin console and from admin console you will have to create the users okay what is admin console and everything i have explained in my previous video you can check that i will leave out the link in the description so you will have to create the user and add user there then that particular user uh, in the devops will get an email he has to authenticate through the email email is compulsory okay he has to authenticate through the email and then uh, you can assign that particular user as a deployment manager so that he'll be able to manage this git deployments okay so once the user is created and he has authenticated uh, he will be able to access the cloud manager and then he can click on this manage git to see his details what are his uh, username and password right since we have created a specific user for the devops guy he'll be able to see his relevant user id and password now what he can do is he can create a script in the organizational git okay so whenever the merge happens on this release branch he can uh, create an automatic script to push this code into remote okay he has to set up this git uh, aem git as a remote in this and then he can use this devops guys user id and password he can put that in the script uh, into the environment variables and he can uh, just use the rem git remote push and push this code okay so all this the devops person will know so you just have to say that you can use the git remote push and push this onto the aem git and you just have to explain this process that he has to have some user id and password and you need to uh, give the git url of the adobe aem okay so once you give this information he will be able to run the git commands and push it so that's how you can manage all this deployment that's it for today jai hind